Uh, this poem, which comes very close to the end of the collection, is called The Calm. And um, it's not important to know, but I'll say anyway that it's actually about the mouth of the River Tyne when there appears on the north and south banks and lighthouses and that sense of imminence and excitement and departures that you always get in such locations. The calm. At the mouth of the river, moon, stars, an arctic calm, the twin lights at the end of the piers revolving with the smoothness we expect of supernatural machinery. Seen from down here on the beach, the harboured ocean slowly tilts like a mirror discreetly manhandled by night from the giant room it was supposed to occupy forever. The mind says, now, but the stars on their angelic gimbals roll and fade, a tide of constellations breaking nowhere every night about this time. Strike up the band. In the tumble-down bar, the singer has fallen from stardom and grace. But though her interests nowadays are wholly secular, she can still refer back to the angels. And knowing that song, we share a moment with the saved before we leave to make the crossing. No captain, no ferry, but cross we shall, believe you me.